through that door uh, very, very soon. Maybe this is him. There he is right now. He's going up to the microphones to announce his resignation. Good afternoon. About 20 years ago, I stood in this very same room here at the Council Center and asked my neighbors for their help to take a chance on me in electing me to the City Council. Then some seven years later, I asked those same people to join with people in Queens in sending me to Congress. There is no higher honor in a democracy than being sent by your neighbors to represent them in the United States House of Representatives. It is particularly humbling to represent this district because the communities and families of the 9th Congressional District are hardworking, they're patriotic, they're opinionated, they are authentic. I have never forgotten my neighbors because they represent the same middle class story as mine. I went to public schools my whole life. My mother was a school teacher for 32 years. My father went to law school on the GI Bill. The middle class story of New York is my story, and I'm very proud of that. I'm here today to again apologize for the personal mistakes I have made and the embarrassment I have caused. I make this apology to my neighbors and my constituents, but I make it particularly to my wife, Huma. I had hoped to be able to continue the work that the citizens of my district elected me to do, to fight for the middle class and those struggling to make it. Unfortunately, the distraction that I have created has made that impossible. So today I am announcing my resignation from Congress. Yeah! My wife pervert! So my colleagues can get back to work, my neighbors can choose a new representative, and most importantly, that my wife and I can continue to heal from the damage I have caused. To repeat, most importantly, most importantly, so that I can continue to heal from the damage that I have caused. I want to thank my colleagues in the House of Representatives, Democrats and Republicans alike. They come from different places around the country, but fundamentally, we all agree. They're all patriots, and I will miss them all. Thank you. I also want to express my gratitude to members of my staff, there are young people who are not paid very much. There are people that work very hard and very long hours. Ultimately, those people define the notion of service. I want to thank, of course, the many people who have helped me, the people who have volunteered, the people who have given me advice, the many of my constituents who have offered me good ideas. And, of course, I want to express my gratitude to my family to my mother and father who instilled in me the values that carried me this far, to my brother Jason, and of course to my wife Huma, who has stood with me through this entire difficult period and to whom I owe so very much. I got into politics to help give voice to the many who simply did not have one. Now I'll be looking for other ways to contribute my talents to make sure that we live up to that most New York and American of ideals. The idea that leaving a family, a community, and ultimately, a country is the one thing that all unites us, the one thing we're all focused on. With God's help and with hard work, we will all be successful. Thank you and good afternoon. Will you maintain your high So there you have it. He spoke uh, for uh, almost exactly four minutes, uh, answering no questions, uh, apologizing once again, formally announcing he's resigning as a United States member of the House of Representatives. Uh, Anthony Weiner uh, didn't break down and cry. He got a little bit emotional. You heard one heckler in the back there screaming out, uh, not unusual in this kind of a situation, but uh, explaining that he first and foremost apologizes to his wife, Puma. They've been married for exact, a little bit less than one year, and as all of our viewers by now know, she's also pregnant uh, with their first child. Uh, John King, you were just watching together with, with, with all of the